In celebration of Women's History Month, we want to introduce you to a local woman who has borne witness to Central Florida's transformation from a sleepy farm town to a top tourist destination. She's played a key role in supporting many local charities that we know and love in between trading on stock market. News 6's Lisa Bell was excited to even get a chance to talk to the 99-year-old who was very busy, had to check her calendar to see if she could squeeze in the interview. Uh, uh, sell SLG at market. When I sat down with 99-year-old Ann Polisek a few days ago, the stock market was surging, but her computer was acting up, so she had to phone in her trades. How are you feeling about that? Are you anxious to get back online? I did get a sale. I did get a, a trade through. And <laughs> Already I did this make morning. money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I have some good advice for you. Good advice from this near centenarian as she reflects on a good life in Central Florida. and moved to Orlando in 1960 for her husband's job at Martin Marietta. What was Orlando like in 1960? Oh my goodness. No Colonial Drive. The only store we had was Ivy's. There was a Woolworth's. And um, there were a couple little boutique stores and they would carry like maybe eight or nine dresses. It was just nothing. Not many stores, but lucky for Ann, plenty of orange groves. The Polisex quickly planted roots, purchasing a 40-acre orange grove. And so after we bought it, we were worried, what if it freezes and we'll be paying this mortgage off for 40 years or whatever. And, uh, but then along came Disney. Walt Disney putting the entrance to his new theme park just one mile from their grove. And once Disney came, and of course, you know the rest of the story there, it just uh, blossomed. As businesses and the population grew in Central Florida, and began cultivating support for local charities. She's been a driving force behind the Morning Star Catholic School in Orlando, the Florida House in Washington, D.C., the Capon House, Casa Feliz, and especially the Alban Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens in Winter Park, who's a distant relative. Oh, very involved, yeah. Yeah. because this man gave everything to Winter Park, everything. And there are people in Winter Park that don't know, have never been there. They drive by it. Mm -hmm. They drive by. If this interview has nothing to do but to bring two more people there, it'll be worth your time. So if you had some advice to young women today, what would that be? Well, have you got an hour? <laughs> I would say, number one, love God love your children be good to your neighbor if there's anyone you're angry with go and make up with them life is too short nothing is that important in life and her advice for investing well of course i have advice buy low sell high <laughs> <laughs> Mm, great advice. Yes. And Paula Zek attributes her longevity to staying active, and when she's not day trading, she's doing yoga, jazzercise, and swimming. Lisa tells us they also discussed potential plans for a big party for her 100th birthday this summer, so that should be fun. That'll be a big party. Yes, it will.